Here's Ernie Kovacs. Once again, the mystic mind reader, the great Kowloon, brings greetings from the mysterious East. Again, he poses the question, can one person read the mind of another? Are certain persons able to mentally control inanimate objects? Let us examine a few cases sciences cannot explain, proving the existence of these mysterious powers. At precisely four minutes after nine, on the night of June 14th, 1958, six-year-old Billy Tufts awoke with a start. A strange feeling of power swept over him, like a tidal wave breaking against the shoreline. In a trembling voice, he called his mother. What is it, Billy, she asked. Mother, he said, I woke with the strangest feeling. I know that whatever I wished hard would happen. Nonsense, Billy, laughed his mother. Listen, Billy persisted. I wished the radio by my bed would start playing. I didn't touch it or go near it. I just wished it. And did it start? Asked his mother, now somewhat nervous. No, it didn't, said Billy. But would you get me a glass of water? Coincidence? Luck? I call them fourth dimensional. At the home of Victor Vector, at 11 o'clock, a guest, Peter Guilfoyle, said, Victor, think of a number. Victor said he would rather have a drink, but Peter persisted, and finally Victor thought of a number. Double it, said Peter calmly. Victor did as Peter instructed. Now divide by two, said Peter. Again, Victor concentrated, a little, little realizing that his very concentration made it easier for Peter to read inside his mind. Now subtract four, Peter said, a quiet smile playing over his handsome face. Subtract four, Peter muttered, his brow furrowing. I thought this is some trick, he said admiringly. Oh, it's not over yet, Peter laughed pleasantly, taking a gentlemanly sip from his can of beer. All right, I've done it, announced Victor. He was sweating profusely from the arithmetical ordeal he'd been put through. All right, said Peter, confidential smile playing over his ruby lips. Was the number seven? No, said Victor. Was it 77, Peter asked? No, answered Victor. 19? No, shouted Victor, and please let go of my tuxedo. Was it 2001, Peter called after Victor, who was pouring a huge blast of rye for himself, walked off. At 5 o'clock in the morning, after all the guests had gone, Victor's phone rang. Are you Victor Vector? asked the chief of police. I am that he, replied Victor, straightening the bag of ice on his head. Well, we got a cuckoo down here at the station that we picked up muttering numbers, said the chief. We said he could make one call, and this is what he wanted. Then Victor heard Peter's anguished voice. Listen, Victor, Peter said, I have it. Was it 11,491? No, it wasn't, replied Victor, and hung up. And now this is the great Kowloon bidding you all a mystic farewell. Usha, Baba, Usha, Ada, Yayan. <laughs> 